Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, I'm really excited to showcase an amazing plugin called WordPress File Download. When it comes to managing files, setting up access for users can be quite complex. However, WP File Download includes some really smart tools to manage file visibility and file management actions. You can define who is allowed to download or update a file, delete a file, or edit only their own files, and much more. Plus, you can restrict access to a file or file category to specific WordPress users only. On the front end, I can easily set the visibility for admin groups and which roles are allowed to access the files. I can even set passwords for added security, so only users with the appropriate roles and passwords can access the files and folders. On the other hand, on admin side, I can set up all user rights related to file management. But that's just a small feature of this amazing plugin. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to all the fantastic things this plugin can do that will absolutely blow your mind. Hey there, let me show you how to manage files using WP Download Manager. The main display is quite easy to get used to and looks similar to WP's media library, with the center display and managing tab on the left column. To create a new file category, just click on the Create Add Category button located in the left column. You can also right-click on an existing category to access more settings like changing its color or name, duplicating it, or creating a new subcategory. In the center display, you can upload one or multiple files by clicking the Select Files button or upload a whole folder by choosing the other button. I'll upload one of my media folders for now. Once the folder is uploaded, all the files inside will be displayed in the center section. You can search for a specific file or filter them using the buttons. You can also move the folder to another category just by clicking and dragging it over. I hope this helps you get started with managing your files using WP Download Manager. Let me go ahead and show you some more features by adding a block of this plugin to my Elementor page as an example. I'll search for the WP file download category on the search bar, click and drag it over to the page content, and choose the category I just uploaded earlier. Then, I'll add another block for WP file download, but this time, only for a single file. Once that's done, we can preview how it's displayed on the page site. This way, you can see how easy it is to use and how it can enhance your website's file management system. Let's jump into the next sequence and to the main purpose of this video, that is the file download access limitation setup. Now, as you can see, the files from my download category are being displayed on my page. Each file has a download and preview button respectively. Clicking on the preview button will show a pop-up window that allows you to view the content of the file. Clicking on the download button or directly on the file will start downloading the file to your device. Below the file display is the upload section where you can upload more files to this category. Suppose I want to make the file private and not show it on public view anymore. In that case, I will use the access limitation feature. To do that, I will go back to the category, right click on the category that I just added to my Elementor and choose edit category. In the permission setting, I will change the file's visibility from public to private. Doing so will pop up the user setting, where you can define who is allowed to access, download, update, or delete the file. You can also restrict the access to a file or a file category to specific WordPress users only. For instance, if I exclude the editor role and press save, the file will not be visible to this role anymore. Similarly, if I do the same for the category that contains this single file, the file will not be visible to any user under that category's restriction. However, since I gave admin role access to these categories, the current editor role will not see it, but the admin will. So, I will switch to a user with an editor role and check if they can access the category on my Elementor. After logging in as an editor role user, I can't access or download the files from the category on my Elementor page anymore. But if I switch back to admin user, I can see and access the files without any issues. This is how the access limitation works. To further enhance the security of your files, you can add another layer of protection by setting a password for them. This can be done in the permission settings of the category, regardless of whether the files are public or private. 
Once a password is set, anyone who wants to access the files must enter the correct password. To demonstrate this feature, I will set a password for this category and show you how it works on my Elementor page. As you can see, the file download block is now locked behind a password panel. If I enter the correct password, I will be able to access the files. However, if I do not have the password, I will not be able to view or download the files. To explore more options for access limitations, let's dive into the configuration of the WP file download plugin. To do so, go to the file access section and then select user roles. In this setting, you can define the actions that a user role can take when they have access to the files. For example, as I mentioned earlier, when a category is being displayed, simple interactions like downloading, previewing, or uploading to the category are possible. However, I don't want viewers or other users to upload more files to my category, or they can only download without previewing. By simply turning off these options in the settings, I can achieve that. I will now try this in the editor role, turn off this options, and hit save. Now, let's check the content using a user with an editor role. As you can see preview button is disappeared. With these changes, the editor role can now only download files without previewing them. These various settings can help you manage your workflow by defining which role can perform which actions on your categories. Access limitation offers several other restriction options, such as preventing other users from creating, deleting, or managing files in your category. For instance, if I disable the delete and edit permission option for the editor role, users with this role can no longer delete files in my category. Let's see how it works in practice by testing it out on my editor role user. As an editor role user, I still see the categories listed in WP file download because I have access rights, but I am unable to delete any of the existing categories. If I try to delete a category, a pop-up message appears, stating that I do not have the necessary permission to do so. Furthermore, if I right-click on a category and choose Edit Category, the Permission tab disappears because this role is not authorized to edit the category's access limitation. This type of restriction can also be applied to other options in the setting, depending on the kind of restriction you want to impose on any user roles. All you need to do is turn the option on or off in the settings. Let's talk about an important feature called Download Limit in WP File Download Configuration. This setting is located right below the user role option. With download limit, you can restrict the number of times a user can download your file or how frequently they can download it. For instance, let's say I set a limit of one download per hour for an admin role. That means users with this role can only download one file per hour and they have to wait for another hour to download another file. You can utilize this setting to work with the paywall on your website or to promote your membership, depending on your requirements. To wrap things up, let's take a look at the pricing for the plugin. In addition to all the plugin features we just covered, WP File Download got all the tools you'll ever need for a download manager, like a file search engine, file listing themes, among many others. WP File Download plugin offers many third parties plugin integration like DD Builder, Gutenberg, and Elementor, which I demonstrated earlier in this video. There are also some cloud connectors like Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive. The plugin is available for $49, which includes all the features I mentioned in this video. But if you want to use the Cloud Connectors add-on for example, like Google Drive, you'll need to upgrade to the $69 option. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a productive day, bye.